everyone welcome back to another video if you are new here my name is Ashley I am currently 36 weeks pregnant with my second baby boy I have a 14 month old right now so I will be having two kids under two very soon if you are not subscribed and you are new here then please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications because I am going to be posting a lot of pregnancy related stuff and very soon I will be having my birth my labor and delivery vlog so you definitely want to stay tuned for that but I came on here today to do my 36 week update if you have not seen my previous video it was my 35 week update and just explaining just all the troubles I've been having this third trimester so you should definitely go check that video out as well but pretty much everything is the same I am still having a lot of pelvis pressure I'm still having um, the round ligament pains the Braxton Hicks I'm having all that stuff um, I have been feeling a lot of shortness of breath still. The only different things that have happened to me, as you can tell by the title of this video, I thought I was in labor yesterday actually. Um, I went to the hospital and I'll insert a clip um, soon of me at the hospital and stuff and just explaining kind of like what happened. But basically I was having really, really bad contractions and, um, well, Braxton Hicks contractions and I took a bath. I did everything I could. I drank a lot of water. I tried to, you know, relax at home, but I'm only 30, I was only 35 and six days or whatever. So I know that like, that's really early. So I wanted to go into the hospital to make sure I wasn't having real contractions so that they could stop them because it's still too early for me to have, um, Gabriel. So Something in me just told me to go to the hospital and um, they weren't getting better on their own from me just laying down, drinking water, taking a bath, nothing was working. So I went to the hospital and I'll insert this clip here. Hey guys, so I am currently 35 weeks and six days. I am in the hospital right now. Um, I had a little scare. I was having some crazy contractions. Um, but they were um, like all over the place, but I was having a lot of like pelvic pressure and shooting pain. So I tried my hardest to stay home because I don't like to leave my son, but they were just so bad. And finally I am going home. They monitored him, he's doing perfect. Um, my contractions have finally stopped and they just told me to chill out and stuff. So I just wanted to update you guys while I'm here. Gabriel is still cooking and um, should be cooking for a little bit longer. I'm also one centimeter dilated. So that's that. <laughs> so as you guys can see, I that they completely stopped the contractions. Um, I just laid down there and they gave me some type of drink and I drank it and um, like they went away <laughs> instantly. So that, that was good. Um, I also found out that I am one centimeter dilated, which is crazy because with Angel, I was half a centimeter dilated at 37 weeks. So, so being one centimeter at 35 and six days or whatever is um, pretty exciting to me because it just kind of reassures me that maybe I can, you know, give birth naturally and not have to get induced. So that is that um so another new thing that's been happening to me is i've been having horrible hot flashes i have been feeling so hot on the inside um drenched in sweat when i wake up it's just it's been horrible <laughs> so i sleep with the fan on and i sleep with the temperature at like 71 sometimes 70 because i'm just so hot and i even wear like minimal clothing to bed so that you know it can help and stuff and still it doesn't help so that's something new um like at, right now me talking to you guys i am like sweating right now so um that is something that is new um this week had it with angel so i know that it's definitely normal when you're pregnant so the very last thing that i wanted to talk about that has been new um this week is um i definitely feel like i have dropped i feel even more pressure um on the bottom of my like pelvis area I feel like I can finally like like take a deep breath and it not like feel like everything is so crowded and also in a picture that I posted on Instagram I asked if I have um, dropped and a lot of people said yes my stomach is just a lot lower now but I haven't really been like um, taking like progress pictures so I don't really know if it dropped or not but I still wanted to just kind of post that and see like everybody's response because I personally feel like I 
drop but I you know can't tell other than like me feeling that feeling like I can breathe and stuff like that so that is something also that's very new that has just happened to me so that's pretty much it for my updates and what I've noticed um, the changes that have happened my hospital visit all of that stuff um, I currently have the what to expect app and I just wanted to share with you guys the size of him and he is as big as tickle me Elmo it says also says he's as big as a bunch of kale <laughs> So those are the things that he is as big as. Um, they say that he's supposed to be head down already, which he has been head down since 33 weeks. So he's been head down for quite a bit. And pretty much it just says that his um, skull and his bones are not yet fused together so that he can slide through the birth canal easily. His growth is starting to slow down, um, He's but he's packing on a lot of pounds. So he should be about six pounds. And 18 to 19 inches long right now which I'm pretty sure he definitely is that because I feel huge right now and it says the pregnancy walk or waddle which is something I definitely have everybody tells me like I waddle like a little penguin <laughs> also says pelvic pain and lightning crotch which is also something that uh, that is new that has been happening to me and that said it says usually it's when the baby drops so that's another confirmation that he has definitely dropped because I have been having a lot of that so that's pretty much it. I have four weeks left to go, maybe sooner than that, and I am so excited. My nerves are just going all over the place, my emotions all over the place. It's so hard to explain how I feel right now. But if you are due to give birth, if you've given birth before, you definitely know how I'm feeling right now. Um, so yeah, that is it for this update. I do want to show you guys a belly shot because I don't think I did that in my 35 week update but my belly is huge so be prepared okay guys so here is my bump date this is my big bump that I am carrying around right now I feel like it looks like a perfect <laughs> little round ball but um look at that guys I am huge look like it just looks like literally looks like a ball right now I'm so big. This is why I think that he is perfect in like his weight and stuff like that and his size because like I can feel him. My my placenta is to the back, so I could feel I could feel his his feet, I could feel his back, I could feel his I feel like I could even feel his head. Like I could just feel everything. He's just literally right there. With Angel I had placenta what did I have? Oh, I had the placenta um, right here, so I couldn't really feel all of his movements and like jabs and stuff like that. But with this one, oh my goodness, he moves like crazy. But yeah, this is my bump. <laughs> Okay guys, so that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, and hit that like button. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.